Hey YouTube, what's up? Dr. T here and welcome to the Altcoin Express and my hometown of St. Petersburg, Florida. So in this section we will deal with all things pertaining to artificial intelligence otherwise known as AI. So welcome to Chess World. This is intended to be the development in Python of a chess engine using a deep neural networks. The images of the pieces are obtained at this website. You just click on the piece, save the image to a location. And this will be on my PyCharm and the pieces are put into a directory uh, for pieces. The engine itself is we just go through it. It's pretty simple. It's a board right now. Um, all of the various uh, aspects of the piece definitions are on here. The positions of the pieces are given. The names of the pieces, which give you the positions of the pieces, are on here. The names of the pieces and their positions, which can be printed out, are on here the board and its various aspects are on here. It's pretty much self-explanatory. I use offsets to get the pieces, to get the, uh, the board positions in place and offsets for the pieces. Um, so that pretty much is uh, standard. The images, once you've named them appropriately, so it'll come in as some file and you just need to go to in PyCharm, factoring, put a new name in there such that it's recognizable and away you go. And the, uh, the coding would be to identify the piece, uh, photo image, file name and the file name and then to put it onto the board we're going to create the piece image with its destination these are the vectors for its destination anchored and the name of the piece that's coming in and that then will automatically put it up on there with a bit of work it should be self-explanatory um, so we've got the board activated so we'll run the board and you can see the board. So that's the board I've developed with standard notations down here. This comes from a, a Chesscom website where they do the, uh, the blitz and stuff that you'll see some of the pros on. Um, and from that website I was trying to get the coloration of when you touch a piece or the AI touches a piece it will indicate the squares it can go to. So that was over the shaded areas and that was over the light areas. It's pretty close. So I just put those in as kind of marks for what coloration. And all I've taken this so far is to just open the file uh, and print the pieces and their destinations out. So that would come into piece position update where these positions are going to be updated. In order to make the decision, let me run this first, of where a piece is and where it can go to, we need to have a, a loop through identifying where it is. So um, the init will put the board up, so we'll have to drop that. So the init puts the board up, we'll get rid of the board. And now we're opening up and presenting that file. So when we're looking originally to, to work out where the pieces can move to, we'll have to loop through the file and this will tell us what pieces are in there. So there's a piece at, there's a there's pawn W1 at this location, there's pawn W sub Y2 at this location. And variously down the road, one will identify where these are and where their perspective moves are and all the, uh, the trimmings to define that. So that's kind of where it's up to right now. So I wanted to get this out there um, in part of the development phase.